I would say one of the most fundamental driving goals of this entire project was to create a healing environment. It was just critically important that we made this facility feel as uh, unlike a hospital as we possibly could. Coming to a hospital is a fairly rare event and it really does provoke a lot of anxiety. So we wanted to create a facility that was welcoming and allayed those fears to the greatest extent that we could. And uh, so he, uh, healing was uh, kind of a driving word, a driving concept that we kept in mind throughout the entire process. Certainly the role that art played in healing became of primary concern. My goal was to have a healing environment. So many of our patients come here and they're so frightened. And I really felt if they could see pieces of work that were indigenous to Butler and to this community, it would make them feel more at home. And I wanted them to have a warm feeling and a feeling that there was hope. There are so many beautiful surroundings in Butler County and so many wonderful people. We wanted to bring the community inside the hospital. And the theme around the entire project was to bring the outside in. We discussed a number of options and how we were going to approach artwork throughout the facility. And we ultimately decided that we needed to, get, to gain some expertise. We went through a process and selected the Pittsburgh Center for the Arts to uh, lead this process for us. So with this uh, opportunity with Butler, uh, although it was something that was much larger than we had taken on before as far as uh, acting as art consultants, this was really an extension of our services to artists and the community. We have this big open atrium, so the art that was going to be placed in that location really will make a statement that will stand for many, many years. The artist that was selected was Michael Stadler, who is actually from Butler and grew up just a few blocks away. So his theme of uh, these kind of rolling hills of western Pennsylvania and actually using woods from Pennsylvania really fit perfectly with their theme of bringing the outdoors in. If, if, I, if I get into the, the concept, I guess, I've, I've been just thinking quite a bit about Butler, about growing up there, about old friends, you know, people that are no longer around or people that, that got out or people that stayed. You know, I go back to Butler and I kind of walk around. I take my, my folks' dog for a walk through, the, through town and I think about it. I think about in this in this process. I want to think about in this process. That, that's what's important to me. The use of natural materials and materials that were indigenous to the area was very important to us and he presented to us a piece that we thought very much was in keeping with the concept of welcoming and a healing environment. The, the biggest, most important things to me on this project are to activate the space. You know, if, if I can do that through using volume, using these big forms, and, and creating as much interesting twists and bends in it as possible, then I think that will, will best reflect the, the space. The space is very geometric. There are lots of squares and rectangles and things. So to, to tie in something very organic will make it stand out. Brian Cohn is a very interesting artist that we brought into the project. Brian is a photographer and we set him out to explore Butler County and the surrounding area and try to capture unique images that really told the story of our community. So he presented to us a pretty broad portfolio of things he thought achieved what we had directed him to do. He did a very nice job and we uh, honed in on a few pieces that really do tell the story of Butler, Butler County through its history from a very agricultural and uh, kind of uh, remote setting uh, through its industrial history and some of the things that go on today. And I think we've captured who are we as the citizens of Butler County and the people who have history in this area uh, very nicely and it's well represented throughout the building. So another piece that we worked with the, the Butler Health System on was the donor recognition wall. And this was to recognize all of those that, uh, of the community that contributed to the new patient tower. So with this donor recognition wall, we wanted it to be something that was really a piece of art. 
and to be able to have it complement what else was going on in the, the space. Also, when we were creating this donor wall with the hospital, we found that there is so much history uh, over the past hundred years of, of how the hospital came to be and all the different renovations and additions that happened during that time period. And that's another element of the, the lobby so that it gives us another sense of the history and um, the real importance of, the, of this hospital within the community. In the chapel, we also have some work that is from the PCA shop of glass artists. These are mainly vessels. With the chapel, we had also worked with Emerald Art Glass, who had done the, uh, the leaded glass windows. And that was something, the theme of that was something to really kind of connect with the rest of the themes of, of the nature and, and the environment. So this sense of vines and growth uh, is something that kind of you, you see throughout the, the space in, in the chapel. I think we really accomplished what we set out to do. The Pittsburgh Center for the Arts really understood us. They listened so intently to what we needed. We really needed someone to understand us because we wanted to make this right. And I think we did that. So the Center for the Arts has set up a, a plan to be able to have this as the basis for their permanent collection, but we also set up areas uh, one on each floor of the waiting uh, elevator lobby areas where there are temporary exhibit areas so that we can bring in art uh, for a period of six to 12 months that can be changing. And uh, that way we can give new opportunities to artists and it gives the hospital an opportunity to do a trial run with that work and see if they would like to purchase it. So most importantly, if you are a patient or a family member using the Butler Health System and using Butler Memorial Hospital, we hope that you've seen we've taken your needs very seriously. We really do want this to be a healing environment and one that we can create the greatest feeling of calm and confidence uh, that you would expect of a high quality health care provider.